What's good? It's okay. Welcome back to my channel. Today is a special video because it's a long video, but not only that, but this is a lot of the things that I was filming, but it never quite made it to YouTube because I was depressed. I was gone off of social media for like three months in the beginning of the year because I was going through a lot of things behind closed doors. And the other day I was just looking at my camera like, cause it said it was full and I have 256 gigabytes on my car drive. And I was like, there's no way. So I started going through it and I was like, oh my God, I did film a lot of content. Then I looked at my phone and I filmed a lot of stuff on my phone too. So I put it all together because I was like if I'm gonna film it might as well post it So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy give it a thumbs up grab your popcorn. Hope you enjoy Woo, Vegas was a time to be alive. I went for the very first time on a quote-unquote business trip and I was lit. We were all lit the whole entire time and even got some really cheap drum tattoos. The lit part so i was introduced to fat tuesdays for the very first time and let me tell you something i was obsessed this is the only way that i was able to be lit for so many days at a time to the point where i was so constipated the whole trip i did not know that alcohol could make you constipated if you intake too much so yeah we were supposed to be working and we were but our work apps had crashed and the only way to access them was through laptop and none of us had our laptops with us so it was irritating there was some drama that ended up happening this girl ended up calling me out of my name because she was drunk and crying and it, it was just a lot literally nothing was planned we ended up just doing things day by day just taking it day by day and i had only gotten ready like one and a half times but the places that we were staying which was like two different places were absolutely gorgeous like it was so motivational and i just loved the view i loved the bathrooms i loved the living rooms the hot tubs jacuzzi view everything oh my god rewatching this footage is making me want to go back besides the weird little random drama everything was perfect I did end up meeting some cool girls and we got lit. We went to the club to see little baby and I got so messed up because we were so bored. So when the bottles came, we were all just taking a bunch of shots and I fell asleep in the section. <laughs> and my friend was trying to get me up. She's like, girl, get up, get up. But I'm the type, like if I'm lit, you have to let me stay there. I'm going to throw up. <laughs> like the b whole building is open even though majority of the stores are closed yeah. to allow like businesses that really want to stay open to make their money <laughs> how are you guys doing we're doing great, great. awesome um have we played an escape room before no no i have yes okay so <laughs> if you all lose you know who to put away I <laughs> oh snap mr han <laughs> What's the Han talking about? What are you talking so about? Mr. Han. Awesome. So, yeah, we do have a courtesy basket right down here. You can place any belongings. Oh, oh. What is the painting? Look Let's look first. Okay. What's yours up close? Let's see. Okay. Oh, my God. Okay. Oh, my God. 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 Oh, my not numbers this time. T box? It's one, two, three, four, five. Five letters. Oh, okay. Five, seven, eight. Wait, what the fuck? Oh, wait, this tells you. 
five, seven, eight. eight. Enter. Oh, yeah, I can't reach up there. That would be. So, pause the piece. I was too short for this. Somebody tell her has to be in charge of this. I actually had a lot of firsts in Vegas because this was also the first time going to an escape room and it was better than what I thought it was going to be. When I thought of an escape room, I thought of like some creepy stuff where people chase after you. <laughs> so I was never interested. I'm so glad that they convinced everybody to go. Probably because we were all lit. So we we're all like down for whatever. But yeah, if you have never been, you should go. I was there for, I believe, four days and I was so happy to go back home and get to my baby every time i leave her i get so homesick and i just miss her cuddles and her asking me a million questions because that's what mom life is but yeah vegas is airport is so big they had so much going on there were like slots like a it was literally a bunch of casino slot thingies everywhere and i say casino slot thingies because i don't gamble i don't know nothing about it i don't know how y'all get obsessed with gambling if i lose five dollars i'm gonna be mad for the whole day like i don't know how y'all get obsessed with it but teach its own happy birthday to you cha 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 all right y'all we made it it's super dark outside it's currently 8 53 and we are finishing up signing the card right now she would literally sleep two hours out of the two and a half hours of us driving she is focused I don't know who brought it up, but basically it was a video of Winter running to Grecia and being like, dee dee, and so excited. And I was like, you see, you used to do that to me. What happened? And she was like, girl, you literally always surprise me and I'm always in bed or sleeping. And I'm like, dang, you know what? You're right. So this time, because she's turning 16, I was like, she a girl. She's going to need time to get ready. So let me just warn her or whatever. I wanted to pop up, but I was like, let me just warn her. I asked her what she was doing. And you know what this girl said? Nothing. Most likely nothing. Just clean my room. I said no it's not what we're doing so on top of giving her gifts i want to take her out to do something i gave her the options of going out to eat movies and dave and busters and surprisingly she said no to dave, dave and busters she wants to go out to eat or go mm. to the movies she's like i don't got no cute clothes and i was like girl period because i just give you some clothes i'm like five houses away from her house because i don't want them to see me and come outside i just want like i said me and the house beefed out so i'm gonna just be like come outside and then have her walk up here because i don't want nobody coming outside opening the baby's door like i just don't want it to be awkward and or fake you know what i'm saying you know what i'm saying if you're gonna talk to my daughter you're gonna talk to me if you don't respect me what makes you you know what i'm saying like i don't know about that one so yeah i'm gonna end up giving her the gifts at the end i'm not gonna let her know that i got her anything i'm just about to you know go outside have a good time talk about stuff and then on the way back i'll give her, her gifts all right y'all i'm about to play music because like if you gonna pull up you gotta pull up right you know what i'm saying yeah. If they not gonna do it right, we gonna do it right. When you see Titi come out, you gotta scream, Happy birthday, Titi! Okay? You gonna do it? I'm gonna turn on the light. Birthday again. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, where are we going? I don't know. What you mean? Okay, so we went to this spot because we saw some really cute pictures about the outdoor scenery and how you can eat in like a cute little lit up bubble outside. And we never had tried nothing like that, so we wanted to do it, but it's only open on a few days out of the week, so we couldn't do it and we were debating on leaving but since it was literally so late and everything closes pretty early in grand rapids we just ended up settling because there was absolutely nothing else that we could do or make it to in time so yeah we ended up trying new things these are things that the server recommended and we absolutely did not like it <laughs> at all the most decent thing was some carrots they were pretty good and then the fries were like mediocre and then the food just smelled like not good it was like boar she told me to get boar because it was like close to chicken alfredo and then my sister got something the pizza was decent but it wasn't nothing like spectacular honestly mcdonald's probably would have been better but the scenery was cute there so yeah we ended up singing happy birthday which will come up in a second <laughs> winter dropped her 
grilled cheese and had a whole attitude. <laughs> if you saw earlier, she had an attitude because she didn't get her lemonade in time. The waitress kept forgetting about it, but as soon as she gave it to her, she got all happy. <laughs> oh my god, the food was awful. We're gonna try to come to the bathroom. So we're gonna try to come to the bathroom to make TikToks, but it's like a stall. And first of all, I'm not liking the height of this thing. I literally cannot see. My eyesight is in the middle, so I either have to get on my tippy toes or squat down, which is interesting to me because I've never had to do that. I feel like the angle's too low. I don't like the angle of me. I look like you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Gracia. Happy birthday to you. What you working with? What you working with? It look like glue, truffle or something. And there's a bag for- Oh, God, you fucking- Yeah, <laughs> thank you. She said she wished it was two of me. Cut. <laughs> Happy birthday! Like, shh, you're horrible. Yeah, that sound like what you She's telling like, me, you shush it? for. Are you doing it? <laughs> I'm, uh -huh. I'm supposed to open it? Yeah. No, nah, I'm excited. I'm so excited. I can't decide what to get you, so I got you everything. I got you everything. I'm scared. Oh, this is cute. Girl, you don't even know what it is. Okay. What the heck? <laughs> that is your thing, so you can do it. Mama! <laughs> hair products. Ooh, you got hair masks. Huh? Okay. So I don't even know what it smells oh, like. Dang. I don't know what it smells like. I was just like, it's, it's a it's a set. So, Bahamas. If it doesn't smell good, I'll take it back. I think it's really good. It's sweet. Yeah, I like it. You want to smell? Oh, they do smell good. Is this the same? Yeah, they're all the same. Ooh. I'm scared. <laughs> I'm over here smiling like it. I'm opening the present. What the hell? <gasps> oh! <laughs> What color are they? They're hazel. So oh. really light brown. I love you so much. Thank so, you. I can't have you oh, in the, the I can't have you in the yeah, it's a solution. <laughs> I can't have you in the beauty Thank supply you. contacts, bro. I have, to, <laughs> I have to get you right. Oh my Been God. there, done that. <laughs> <laughs> Same. That's from my dad. Hundred dollar gift card. To Ulta, so you can buy whatever you want oh. if you want more hair stuff or Aww. nail stuff, skincare Aww. stuff. Oh, thank you. That's why he was calling earlier because he was gonna say something. That's why I was like, don't say anything because I didn't give it to him. <laughs> thank you so much. Aww. You're welcome. Thank you. I love you. I hope we made your birthday special, mm -hmm. even though it was quick. Period. <laughs> <laughs>
What's up, Nessa Game? <laughs> right now we're at a restaurant. I have an echo clearly. As y'all know, we've been kind of MIA. Well, by the time this video is posted, I'm hoping that we'll be all caught up in more frequent posts. But to start off, winter just turned four, and I have not posted her in a long time. So you guys don't really know how intelligent she is. Y'all don't know how much she talks like that. Y'all don't know much about her. So I love you, mommy. I love you, baby. So today I decided to have a little mommy daughter date night and I brought some books and I brought a workbook and we're just about to sit here and chill until they close and kick us out so y'all can get to know her a little bit more, right? Now can I talk? Yeah. Um, so I'm gonna get corn and some eggs. Oh, you're gonna show them? Show them. She's trying to tell you guys what she's gonna get. Show them. Um, you gotta turn it around like this. That. And you gotta point to it. Um, <laughs> I need to do it. <laughs> okay. So, um, I, got, I choose this. Uh -huh. I choose this. I choose this. I choose the thing, and I choose this, and I just choose this. <laughs> <laughs> She's a corn lover, egg lover. We've only been sitting for like three minutes right now, but we already know what we want, so we're just waiting for our waitress to come and take our order. Winter wants to show you guys her newest book that she's been obsessing over. I got it from Costco. It was about $11. And we haven't gone through every single page yet. You want to do a new page right now and show them? Which you know how smart you are? Okay, let's do it. Okay, let's do the jungle. Okay, it says, can you find the leopard? Can you find the leopard? You know what it looks like. The first one. The first one. This one. Good job. Okay, can you find the fish? The red fish. Yeah, good job. Okay, now find the elephant and press the button. Yeah, good job. You turn it off. Silly goose. Yeah. Okay. Yummy. Oh, okay, okay, okay. The panther is black, baby. Look at the picture. It's under the elephant. The one underneath the elephant. Do you see the picture? Like this? Yes. This one? Yes. Where is it? Good job. Chameleon. Press the monkey button. Good job. You like Adam and Mommy? You're a crazy girl. It's really hot. I love this. So good. So she's officially oh, tried a crab rainbow. So good. Especially it's so good. I love it. I love to be alright. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Hi. Mm -hmm. Hi. Because today is the day before my photo shoot. It's been a while since I've had a photo shoot. She got attitude a little bit. <laughs> she got attitude because she's just been fussing about her whole outfit, and then she's she's sleepy basically, so she been. I'm sleepy. All right, she hates that word. But um, we have a birthday to go to, so we gotta find a gift for her. We need to find little pieces. I'm trying to go to like little boutiques or something. Somebody told me Discovery has little cute pieces, but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna find what I need in, in the mall. It is five o'clock on the dot. I was planning on leaving earlier so I would beat traffic and not run into a bunch of people, but it is the weekday, so I might have a good chance. I think it's, it's Tuesday, so. Yeah, come with us to run some errands. Give this video a thumbs up, because why not? Duh. Duh. Like, Duh. like what? Let's keep it a buck. <laughs> oh, so far so good. It's like super, super empty. Although I think this is like more like of the back. And let's go on the sidewalk. Hurry up. There's a car. 
Oh, my nails. They're all in the way. I'm not trying to film too much because I don't want too many people, <laughs> too many people noticing. But I got them all black, so I don't feel like people would. And then also it's early. Go ahead, go ahead. I have to also exchange some panties because they were too big. I didn't try them on, I just looked at them like, what was I thinking? My little mini me. You're so cute. I'm so glad she's able to walk now. Yes, it's completely empty. This is my vibe. 110%. 12 seconds later. All right, starting to see more people. Oh crap, getting nervous. Okay, I have to exchange them real quick. Well, it wasn't real quick because the line was on, but now we are about to find some good sense. You gotta help me, okay? For the birthday. Let's just smell a bunch of different ones. Oh, this smells good. It's too sweet though. Take off the top. Yeah. Smell it. You like it? Yeah. No, I like it too much. I, like it. I mean, it's, it's okay. I, like it. I like the green one better. The green one smells better. Too. Can you hold it? We gotta bring it to the register and pay for it. Okay. Thank you. She saw this little playground thing. And she wants to go in, so I'm gonna let her do that while I figure out what I want, because I don't specifically know what I want yet. So I'm gonna let her go for a few minutes. So I got the gift, so check, got that off the list. I usually wait till the very last minute to do things, so I'm very happy that I did not do that. And as far as the shoe, I'm just gonna get whatever's cute. I'm gonna be like half naked, because you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna show off this body yaddy. We are tired. We stood till the mall closed because I was trying on things and then there was this lady. Uh-oh. Is it locked? Uh-oh. Why would they do that? I need to get to my car. Maybe there's only like one door that opens? Or do I have to pull it? Yo, we're stuck. Oh. We got one. <laughs> anyway, yeah, we waited to the end. This lady was like trying to put me in like bright, bright colors. But my hair, you already know my hair is already bright and my nails are already bright. So I was looking for black or nude. And she really wanted bright colors. And I was like, no. Like I was getting frustrated because I wasn't even really able to look through the mall. I really wanted just to like wear accessories. Like that's the type of shoe that I was going for, just to accessorize and be pretty much like naked. But we chose something completely different. Are you gonna go in the car? Okay. She wanna go through the driver's seat. But um, y'all will have to see tomorrow when I try it on or whatever. Or maybe I'll try it on tonight. I feel like I definitely need more, but I can try again tomorrow. I still have to do my hair, finish my nails. I was very paranoid because People were coming up to us and stuff and I'm carrying a lot of stuff and I want to make sure the baby's next to me. I want to be aware of my surroundings. It was just a lot. It was the first time I've been in the mall by myself or with just her in a long time. And I'm like, mommy mode is activated while I'm in public. Let me know if you're mommy anything the same way or if I'm just tweaking. Did you have fun with me today? It's her eating her bread that she left in the car. Gross, whatever. <laughs> it's the next day the next morning and i'm on the verge of tears y'all this morning has the last 24 hours has been crazy so after i leave the mall i get a phone call saying that my dad has been released from jail after being in for two and a half years he was supposed to get life and by the grace of God, he got a really good lawyer and stuff, an investigator, and it just worked out in his favor. And he got out way earlier than expected. And like I said, I had a lot going on today, so I was already on a timestamp. I was so tired, and I was like, let me just get some coffee the past couple of days. I've been drinking coffee and um, energy drinks, which I don't believe in. I know they're not good for you. I try not to. If I need uh, something caffeinated, I'll get matcha, which is where I'm on the way to go now because I need it. But I was out all night. I had to pick him up, 
drive him around, get some things. Wasn't even able to do everything because it was late and I had to prepare for today. I woke up to phone calls, return his calls. He's in a crazy situation. I'm right now, right now I have to do what I gotta do and also prepare a care package for him because he has like nothing, obviously. He's like fresh out. He's not able to wash his butt and stuff. And then me being me, like I, I can't go around knowing that somebody's in that type of position. So now I have to implement that in my day. Thankfully, my photographer is very understanding. I was not gonna cancel, but he did reach out to me and I told him the situation. He's like, I completely understand. Thanks for talking to me and communicating with me. Life is lifing, I completely get it. He's also on a time crunch as well. So it ended up working out. I got to push it back a few hours, which is good because like this morning i was like i am gonna pass out i literally feel like i'm about to pass out i have to eat and drink something i'm also gonna have to get a water like have a water with me because like i said i've been um caffeinated for the past few days and i'm not normally i'm usually like a water person and i just need a detox like my like i just feel disgusting i don't usually feel like this because like i don't smoke i don't drink and all that stuff after, after vegas like things started going downhill but on the flip side i have been way more productive i don't want to ever rely on anything to get me through the day so that's a bummer but anyways besides that i woke up and one of my sources of revenue is at a halt right now and like y'all don't understand i stopped doing a lot of things so that i could put all my all i stopped a lot of things to put my all in this source of revenue and it was something that's so petty that stopped it so it's like i'm grieving right now really like it's just so much and my and like one of the like there's a couple people who's just not making it making it any better and like adding more fuel to the fire and i'm already like apologetic and it was something so petty that y'all would be like really really so i'm so stressed out right now and i'm trying not to be Hold on. how can i help you i've been so focused on that source of revenue and uh also nails like i've been obsessed with nails lately it's my passion it's been keeping me motivated and stuff like i got a bunch of packages that i have yet to open i'm behind in promos y'all like i've been like <sighs> but i was doing so good like i was like prancing through a pit of fire like and fine but once this source of revenue and then my dad coming out and then he expects so much out of me like he wants to do things that i can't do for him right now for mine and my daughter's best interest good morning mm -hmm. like it's a lot it's a lot and then i'm trying to move no and then i'm trying to move to like it's just so much. thank you so yeah i was tearing up as i was like pulling out the driveway and i'm just like oh snap into it stop thinking negative you're gonna stay in a negative mind mind what is it mind place mind mindset you're gonna stay in a negative mindset if you keep thinking negative so i'm trying to think about it and it's interesting because a lot of things don't get to me honestly like i just literally like i said prance through like a pit of fire like I don't let much get to me, but uh, this is a hard hit on me. Like it's a, it's a lot. Like Winter's dad is about to see her for the first time in a year in a couple weeks. So like that's interesting. And then it's like it's so much happening right now. So many birthdays coming up. I'm trying to start another business. Like it's just I got a lot of weight on my shoulders. How did I go this way? And, um, yeah, but I'd rather keep you guys in the loop this time because, you know, there's always stuff going in, highs and lows, that I don't talk about because I, don't, I just don't like people. I'm actually a pretty private person despite me being on social media. 
and I've been more and more private as time goes along that's why I don't post as much but I do want to give you guys more content and stuff like that so I won't be always sharing like every single detail but y'all gonna come with me on my days and we're gonna chit chat and we're still gonna vibe it's gonna be okay it is currently 10 o'clock my photo shoot is at 5 um it's about a 40 minute drive and I have no idea what my outfit looks like I was supposed to try it on last night but I got it so late because I dropped that I dropped my father off really late but I'm up now I'm gonna do those things ASAP I just have some coffee I'm about to grab some breakfast and then I'll go handle the care stuff because once I start getting ready I'm gonna be in my zone and it's gonna take a long time and just makes more sense if I get this out of the way now because if all else fails I'm naturally pretty so like I can just do some natural makeup um, do my natural hair wash and go call it a day I'm not trying to do that I'm trying to do more glamour so how my day goes how I'm, like how fast I'm able to move will decide how my fit is gonna look fingers crossed I got this keep you updated okay so i'm gonna do a care package and so i feel like one of these things are necessary i'll probably get a shorter one so that he has he can put all his stuff in one area i feel like this is the only buckets that they have though okay never mind i found some more which makes more sense i think something with the lid like a tote I think that will work. Okay, I think this is better because it's smaller and he honestly doesn't have anything with him. So the only thing he's gonna have in here is everything that I'm buying him and I don't think it's gonna be much. So let's shop, guys. He says that he needs socks and drawers and basically everything. So I'll probably get him some, I don't know what he wears. <laughs> I don't know if it's 3XL, extra large. 2XL, like, maybe I just grab one. I don't know, y'all. I don't know. We're we gonna do that. Perfect. See, if you guys need a care package, get a girl to do it because we're gonna think of everything. he gonna need some lotion. I don't know about y'all, but I love me some Johnson Johnson. I know they got like recalls every year about something, but like something about the smell that really does it. Okay, so he told me they have everything that they need, like necessities there, but you can never go wrong with wipes. You never know, they might run out or something. So I'm going to, since they're two for four, get two things of this. One for me, one for him. Now let's see, I know he's gonna have detergent and stuff like that. Now we can always grab some. This is really for like today. Let me just go through all the aisles so, just so that I don't miss anything. And it'll make me go faster so I don't miss anything. I need a loofah. I'm not sure, but I feel like I got my sensitive skin from, from him. So I'm just gonna stick to that. It's 11 a.m. I'm pretty much wrapping it up. I remember he was like super hairy and he said that he has hair going everywhere last night. So I made sure to grab him some shavers, shaving cream, deodorant. And then I thought to give him a card to lay on top. I'm gonna write him a message. This is so cute. This is perfect. Something to keep his spirits happy. I know he's gonna be happy going through this. Some good fresh water. literally the perfect size it's so crazy i wrote in this um it's horrible handwriting i'm kind of embarrassed but um it's okay he knows i got long nails for a second my anxiety stopped i was able to sit down and think while i was writing this and i feel <clears throat> a little bit more at ease i just realized that i actually forgot the freaking towel so i have to find another store before i go because how are you gonna take a shower if you can't dry off but the place that he's at like the person who runs it is very rude every time i get on the phone i'm like hi can i uh and then he was like no you cannot i was like hi can may i please speak to my dad and he was like no you cannot uh he was like he's talking to the police or something they got to do a check or check him in or something and i was like okay well can i not drop something off because i'm literally two into it he's like oh yeah 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 and then he's changed he's like oh yeah you have stuff oh okay yeah uh you're are you here i said i'm two minutes away he said yeah yeah i'll i'm gonna tell him to come down i'm, I'm gonna be outside i'm gonna tell him to come down and i'm like okay this morning i had called back because he had called me i was sleeping and then 
he said, I was like, can I speak to him? And he had a big sigh. He was like, <sighs> and then he passed the, he said, hold on. So he had, I heard him in the background telling my dad, uh, yeah, you got 60 seconds because whatever the case is. And then my dad was trying to tell me like some information. And he was like talking over him while he's like trying to relay the message or whatever. It was just, it was irritating. Like y'all literally asking to get people to get sent back to like y'all testing people y'all be testing people i don't like that hey puppy baby what do you got here i got everything okay is that too much no that's not too much at all you know what what i needed was i needed some shirts though i got no shirts i put some shirts in there you put t-shirts in there yeah i got everything oh, i got baby. i got bath stuff towels toothbrush i got a card for you everything <laughs> okay. i had to get you right okay I got you a crossword in case you get bored. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, a notebook yeah. so you can write stuff down. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. You know what? I think I left my paperwork in here yesterday. Uh-uh. Um, you didn't leave nothing. Oh, you brought okay. it inside with you. I did? Okay. Okay. I'm gonna see you later then. Just call me when you whenever you can. I got my photo shoot at five thirty. So. Okay. Okay. So I just I'm just waiting for the guy to get in and tell me what I can do and not do. Okay. Alright then. Love you. No, none of that. Whew. All right, y'all, I made it. He pushed the time back two hours. So, wow, code after code. Okay. All right, y'all, I made it. This is the first look. I don't have any looks that I planned. It just happened to be this way. Um, don't want to turn around because I don't want YouTube to flag me. But I'm gonna try to set up my phone. Hopefully, it doesn't die and get y'all, give y'all a couple angles or whatever. Go ahead, chat yourself. Where can I find uh, you? Him over there, him over there studios. If you Google him over there, you'll find me. I'm your WCW's favorite photographer. It's the reason why she with me, because I'm pretty sure she got WCW. I'm my new favorite photographer. Any old photographers, no shade to you. I appreciate you. I love you. He doesn't love you. I don't love you. <laughs> I lied. I travel, but mainly Chicago is my base. One day I ended up bringing Tro with me. Of course, she comes with me everywhere. <laughs> But we ended up doing these face masks. It was like a DIY and you can make your own mask based on like your skin needs and whatever base that you wanted. It was like really informational and I would definitely do it again and I would definitely recommend. They had some great healthy refreshments and they basically just showed you exactly what steps you need to do to get your face to glow. And my face was glowing. If I had time, I probably would have bought every single product that they had had us use all right y'all i just started my live and i'm gonna do some tiktoks mine as well anyway he these bitches were slow i ain't know these bitches see now it is 7 16 in the morning i'm proud of myself Swerving through traffic. So what happened was I didn't read the website for this yoga class. And the website says to bring your own mat, but I don't know if it was because of like COVID issues or if they really don't have any mats. So I have to stop and grab one really quick. I'm actually about to stop at my storage. It's 7.30 and it starts in 15 minutes. And it's a 10 minute drive over there from where I'm at right now. If y'all know me, y'all know that I do not run, I do not work out, I don't do none of this. So, I'm trying to be on time today, y'all. I ended up putting this heatless curl thing in. I made a video on how I did this on YouTube, actually, with a different one, but that one got ruined when I went on vacation. So, I ended up buying a different one. I feel like it's gonna come out cute. This is a glueless wig, so I had to use some got to be spray to hopefully hold it down just in case we're doing like something. I don't want it to slip back and I don't want it to fall off while I'm doing yoga. That's embarrassing. So, not saying that it would, but at the same time, you just, with my luck, I feel like it would. So, I ended up like hairspraying it down and that's why I got this scarf on like this. 
<laughs> I can't believe I'm running. Did it slide back? No, but it looks stupid. I'm gonna have to wear a scarf. I'm supposed to be filming this for TikTok, so I'm not gonna bring my camera because that's just gonna be too much to carry. Let me get myself together. I am so tired. It's 1.51. I just woke up from a nap. I got to take an hour and a half nap, and I don't feel like that was enough. Like, I wanna sleep the whole day away, but I know if I do that, I'm gonna be up again late. Yeah, baby, yeah, baby. You can say hi in a minute, okay? Okay. Yeah. I had like an hour and a half of sleep. I'm exhausted. Yoga was fun. I'm just so childish. I was cracking up the whole time because like I just felt so stupid. I couldn't get in certain positions. I didn't really know what I was supposed to be feeling, what I wasn't supposed to be feeling. So like it was funny, but I wouldn't do it again. It's just like so kumbaya, like. I don't know. <laughs> I'd rather have done like a pottery class, something more creative and hands-on. That wasn't like really my speed But all. now we're on the way to the birthday party, but I'm about to re-curl my hair because this hair is not meant to be curled because it's straight and not body weight. But I curled my hair in a car and once I finished, I was like, oh my God, I left some out, so I'm annoyed, but. Winter fell asleep on the way here. Ignore the mess, y'all. We've been like literally all over the place. She is writing her little message on the card. She already knows the drill. We done did plenty of these. Hey, how you feel? I'm hot. Why don't you turn off the car and open the door then? Nah, I'm not saying I'm scared of the bees. Let's see. Do my little dance, she little high step. Ooh. Period! This is a must have. I actually do have one on my storefront. It's actually thicker than this and I think a little bit longer. And there's a bunch of colors online versus in person. They only had this color. I so, do my crayon too. Yeah, we both gonna be recording. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, hi. 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 <laughs> one? You're not doing that one? Okay. Alright, <laughs> right. I'm gonna count anyways. You wanna jump, jump? One, two, three. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, come on now. Oh! oh. How cute is this little setup? So adorable, these little cute snacks. They're literally like bite size. Love that. Oh, I thought it was only one thing, but there's more. And y'all, look at this. They did the floor's lava thing. That's so freaking creative and adorable. There's literally food everywhere, and I'm here for it. I was supposed to show y'all my plate before I started to dig in, but there we got the arroz con gandules. And I think it's like, um, what is this? Chicken? What is this? Uh, ham? Oh, yeah, ham. Ham. Cuban okay. ham. Cuban ham? Cuban ham. Oh. What he said. And then we got the ribs. I put some spicy sauce on it. Chicken pulled pork. Spicy and barbecue. And then I got some mac and cheese. Yes. She does her own nails. Press on nail. Business coming soon. <laughs> Yeah. I'm ready, girl. This is a lot of work. <laughs> it is. Yeah. Ooh, come Elijah, on, you got this. You can do it. You can come on, Winter. You got this. Yeah. Come on, Mama. Come on. Come on, Winter. You got it. You got it. You got it. You got it. Oh, she got the door. You cheated. <laughs> Give me five. Cheese. Cheese. You gotta do the spray. Spray thing. Spray. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Happy birthday to you. You do you. Happy birthday to you. In that right.
wraps up the video i hope you guys enjoyed it i was gonna put like pictures and explain the pictures for the things that i took pictures of and i didn't record then i was like that's probably doing too much and their attention span is probably not longer than five minutes to be honest while i'm making these long ass videos so if you watched it to the end drop a frog emoji drop a like share it with your friends let them know it's per usual i love you next again and i'll see you in my next video bye